When should we use to, T-O, versus to, T-O-O? These words are pronounced exactly the same, but they have different meanings and uses. Understanding the difference will help you avoid mistakes in your written English. So let's learn. You can download a free PDF containing the text of this lesson as well as a quiz to help you practice using to and to. Click on the link under this video and enter your email address to receive that free PDF. I'll be happy to send it to you. We'll begin with to, T-O. It's a word with a lot of different uses. In fact, it's one of the most common words in English. To can serve as a preposition, an infinitive marker, or a particle in an infinitive phrase. As a preposition, to indicates direction or movement towards a particular destination or recipient. For example, she went to the store. Please give this book to Mary. This highway leads to Los Angeles. To also marks the infinitive form of a verb, which is used after specific verbs. For example, I want to learn English. He needs to finish his homework before going out. And finally, to can introduce a motive, reason, or intention. For example, I came here to see you. That's the reason or purpose for my visit. We're planning to travel soon. I have the intention of traveling. Now let's look at to, T-O-O. To is an adverb that indicates excess. There was more of something than the amount that was expected or wanted. Here are some examples. The food was too spicy for my taste. I ate too much at the party and now I feel sick. Slow down, you're driving too fast. To, spelled T-O-O, can also be used to express similarity or agreement, similar to also or as well. For example, you're going to the mall? I want to come too, meaning I also want to come. I like pizza and she does too. She speaks French and she can speak Spanish too. If someone tells you, I enjoy reading science fiction, you can respond, me too, if you agree or if you also enjoy reading science fiction. So to spelled T-O is used for destination or movement, motive, reason, or intention, and in the infinitive form of verbs. And to spelled T-O-O is used for excess, similarity, or agreement. Now we also have the word to spelled T-W-O, which refers to the number two, and it's pronounced exactly the same as two and two. But now you know the difference. So try writing your own example sentences so you can practice and remember it. Also, download your free PDF guide and quiz again by using the link under this video. If you want to learn more from me, check out my courses and eBooks. I've got one all about confusing words like two and two, and I have grammar programs for all levels from basic and intermediate English grammar to advanced grammar. You can find them all at EspressoEnglish.net. I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.